Hey everyone, Professor Davis here from ChemSurvival.com and the YouTube channel ChemSurvival. And today I want to talk to you briefly about the chemistry of soap. Now, many soaps and soap products get their start as either a fat or an oil from a natural source. And many of these fats and oils from natural sources are a class of compounds called triacylglycerides. Now, these triacylglycerides consist of a long chain of a very hydrophobic, low polarity substance, kind of a hydrocarbon-like tail, and they're joined at a head by a glycerol portion of the molecule that's a bit more polar. Now, let's take a look at how these fats and oils that are readily available in nature can be converted into useful materials like soap. The reaction takes place when we mix those fats or oils with a base like potassium hydroxide, commonly known as lye. And when this happens, a reaction takes place in which those triacylglycerides are broken down into two useful substances, glycerin, which is sometimes used in hand creams and even as a precursor to explosives, and also fatty acid salts, which are the critical ingredient for soap. Now, this is not a rigorous mechanism for the reaction, but it shows pretty well what goes on when we mix triacylglycerides with lye. We mix our fat with the lye, and a reaction takes place in which they are converted into a molecule of glycerin and three molecules of fatty acid salts. And it's, again, those fatty acid salts that we need for soap. So let's take a look now at how these fatty acid salts help to dissolve dirt into water. Now, dirt is a relatively low polarity substance. It's an odd mixture of lots of things, but it's generally pretty low polarity stuff. So if we were to try to rinse this spot of dirt away simply using water, we would find that the high polarity water and the low polarity dirt don't get along well. Remember, like dissolves like which means that unlike really doesn't dissolve unlike. So how are we going to get this dirt off of our screen? Well, we're going to add some soap. Now look carefully at these soap uh, molecules. They contain polar regions, these carboxylate portions. They're very polar, they're good hydrogen bonders, they should interact well with water. And they also contain a very low polarity region, which are the hydrocarbon tails on the other side. Now what this allows soap to do is to encircle the dirt, forming a structure known as a micelle. A micelle is a spherical structure in which the hydrophobic tails of the fatty acid salts are pointed inward to help solubilize the dirt. However, at the surface of the micelle are the carboxylate groups, which are, again, they're charged, they're good hydrogen bonders, they interact very well with water. So what this allows is for the entire micelle to interact quite well with water, making it very easy to wash away. So now that we've got our dirt encapsulated in a micelle, we can simply rinse it, and off it goes. Well, that's all for now, everybody. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Professor Davis from ChemSurvival.com and the YouTube channel ChemSurvival. Stay clean, and I'll see you next time.